Autotext is a feature that lets you bring in standard canned boilerplate you might have placed into a template in Word and bring it into a document. I'm going to show you how to do this. Here's the document in Word. Let's suppose this is a paper, at least the start of a paper, written by one of my students. I teach college at DePaul University. Supposing what this student has written needs some advice, and it's the same advice I had probably had to give to a lot of different students. If I wanted to bring in some standard boilerplate here that I've already prepared, I could go up to a little this. symbol that exists in the little menu bar at the upper left of the screen. I'll show you in a second how it got there. For the moment, though, I'm going to use that. And you'll see that I can bring up a variety of different canned text that I've already placed out there. If I found what I was looking for this way, I could click on it and bring it in. However, a handier way to do that is to simply remember the tag of the item you want to bring in. In this case, G5. I can type that in. When I press F3, it's brought in. If I had some other information out there that I wanted to bring in under a different tag, I could type that tag and bring it in. How did I put information out there? Well, it's fairly simple. Supposing I wanted this to become a standard part of the text. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleas were white as snow. Now I know that's rather silly, but supposing I highlight that, I go to the auto text icon, and I say save selection to auto text, and I can give this a little tag too. Maybe I'll just say something like Jim123. Okay. Wherever I go now in the document, if I type Jim123 and press F3, that sentence comes in. When I save this document, everything I've inserted is saved. When I get out of Word, it asks me if I want to save this modified style in a building block template. I'll say yes, and that means that whatever I've now put in as standard text will still be there the next time I open up Word. If I did, for example, here, Jim123, F3, that text comes in. Now where does this little icon come from? Up here you have an arrow next to this little set of menu options. If you click down on that, you see some of the functions that you've located in the upper right corner. You show more commands, you see a bunch more of these commands. I've already taken from this list, highlighted something, and put it over here in the way of this auto text function. Here I'm adding perhaps this edit footer. And if I wanted to move these around, I could use this to move any given entry around. But I didn't really want to have edit footer there, so I'm going to remove it. That's how you get the function visible to you up here. In another little video, I'll show you how to transfer this information from one computer to another. It is on this machine right now. If I were to use Word on a different machine, I would have to have that same building block template installed on that machine. I'll show you how to do that in another video.